Welcome to Magic Motion. Magic Motion consists of two interfaces, the Motion Control Interface and the Scroll and Crawl Interface. First, we'll cover the Scroll and Crawl features, generating a crawl and a scroll. When generating your graphics for uh, use in the crawl, um, I've centered left to right, but in the up and down, what I've done is on um, Layer Justify, I've gone to the bottom, and that puts it all the way to the, the bottom. Uh, when you're generating this, um, if you specifically want it anywhere on the screen, generate it in that position. And then we can save the title, and we say OK. And back to the storyboard. And what we're going to do is we're going to drop this down here. Simply go to Magic plus M. And we're going to generate a crawl from right to left. Then we're going to highlight, shift key, and merge. The clip here was a five second duration and merging takes uh, a couple of minutes in this case. Um, okay, let's see what we got here. And it's that easy. I'm going to generate a scroll. I've generated this graphic in Neotype previously and just for expediency purposes I'll go back here. Yeah, you understand all that now. I've got a a five second clip here. I'm going to drop my graphic that I just showed you right here. Select Magic plus M. And we're going to generate a scroll and we're going to generate it from bottom to top. I highlight our clip and merge. And our merge is complete. And we'll play a bit. It's just that easy. Welcome to Magic Motion. This is the motion control interface. It consists of a few buttons here. We have the Add button, Rotate, Zoom, your horizontal graphic position, and your vertical graphic position. First I'll show you some of the basics of the motion control interface. What I've got here is a clip of Digital Juice's motion back and it has, I like this one because it has a lot of motion, vertical rotation, everything in it and we're gonna go to the graphic spin, select our magic motion graphic, drop it down underneath the selected clip and then we're going to left click on details and you'll see the title envelope like normal but down below it is your motion control interface and it consists of all the, the features that we discussed earlier. So what we're going to do first of all is I'm going to take out the fade in and fade out just for simplicity reasons and you can lightly see the graphic here move the puck over a little bit brighten it up and bring it back that makes it just a little bit easier to see. Okay what we're going to do first is we're going to do a simple rotation and this is the rotation adjustment right here and I want to go in about three seconds I'm going to leave magic motion right in the middle and I'm going to go in three seconds before I want to apply the rotation I'm going to tap my fast forward key three times and you'll see that I moved in three seconds now I'm going to add that that's my first point where I'm going to start the rotation and I want the rotation to last, oh, say four seconds. So I'm going to advance four seconds. And I'm going to add a second mark to that. Now that defines between the first and the second add point where this rotation is going to be. So right now, the rotation is going to end at add point two. So I'm going to tell it to rotate 360 degrees and end at add point 2. 
If it doesn't come up exactly 360, I'm going to highlight this, raise it at a zero, and then just click somewhere here, make sure that's active. Okay, now I'm going to tell it after the rotation, stay in the middle of the screen until the entire end, and I'm going to use my go to end key on the right side of the keyboard, go all the way down to the end of the clip, and add. And we can use our, our cursor here to preview. You can't play it back full screen or on the storyboard, but what, what you see here is if you watch current, we're going to go in and about the time we hit our three second mark, we're going to start rotating. There's a little bit of a lag as we go through this on the cursor. And then it's going to finish up. Okay, so if you're happy with your preview, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the storyboard. We're going to hit the shift key and highlight the clip along with our graphic and we're going to merge this. And we're just about done merging and we'll check it out and see what it did. Should hold for a few seconds and we're going to do our rotation for about four seconds and hold for a few seconds. Very nice. For the zoom control, we're going to go to our details and we're going to, uh, let's apply about two seconds where the graphic here stays right where it is. Tap our fast forward key a couple of times and hit our add point. And that tells it from the start to point one that it stays there. We're going to do our zoom up for about a second. Tap the fast forward again. Add. So let's add um, not too much zoom. Let's let's take it up to maybe 120%. And sometimes just a subtle little zoom catches the eye and will draw attention to the graphic and and make an impression and have impact. So we've got it up a little bit larger now. We want to hold that, oh, say four seconds. Tap my fast forward key again. And we're going to add our point there. And all we've done now is tell it between points two and three to stay at that size during those four seconds. We're going to tap it one more time fast forward key to advance it one second hit our add point and we're going to tell it now to go back to a hundred percent and then we're going to go to our uh, go to the end key on the right side of our keyboard takes us down to the end of the clip and press add and that tells it to hold the size that it is to the end of the uh, clip. So let's move our cursor here and see what kind of preview we got going. Let's see it just a little bit larger. And then down towards the end of the clip. It's nonlinear, so it's really hard to get it right down to the end. Okay. Let's go ahead and merge and see what we get. Okay, we're just about done here and let's go ahead and replace this. We'll play it back and see what we have. Very nice.